Hello viewers, welcome once again back to my channel, Math Made Easy with PDY. If you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit on the subscription button and then also click on the notification bell so that you'll be the first person to be notified whenever any new video is uploaded. We are still on our series on the topic, search. And today's lesson, we are going to solve equations involving certs. Let's go straight ahead and then learn how to solve equations involving certs. Now, our first example here is SSE 1996, question number 11. We say solve square root of y minus 3 minus square root of y all equal to negative 3. Now, having our question as square root of y minus 3 minus square root of y all equal to negative 3. Before you can solve equations involving search, it's mostly advisable to get rid of the radical signs. So, in order to do that, it is very much well advisable to see to it that the radical sign is always having another term which doesn't have a radical sign. So per this question, I would like to maintain square root of y minus 3 on the left hand side of the equation and then regroup the negative root y to join the negative 3. So I'll be having negative 3 plus square root of y. Then at this moment, getting rid of the square root signs, I'll have to square both sides of the equation. So I'll have it as square root of y minus 3 all squared equal to negative 3 plus square root of y all squared. When we expand square root of y minus 3 all squared, we are going to be left with y minus 3. And this must be equal to negative 3 multiplying negative 3 plus root y. Then we have plus root y multiplying negative 3 plus root of y. When we simplify the right hand side, we'll end up getting 9 minus 3 root y then minus 3 root y plus y. The right hand side still becomes 9 minus 3 root y minus 3 root y plus y. And this must be equal to the left hand side, which is actually y minus 3. Now regrouping, we we'll have y minus 3 equal to there are some like terms here, so we need to actually simplify the like search, which is negative 3 root y minus 3 root y will give us negative 6 root y. And then we have our 9 plus y maintained minus 6 root of y. Then again, we still have a set to get rid of the radical sign. So therefore, there's a need for you to regroup and then maintain the negative 6 root y on its own. So we'll have y minus 3 minus 9 minus y being equal to negative 6 root of y. Simplifying the left hand side, we'll end up getting y minus y, which is 0, and then negative 3 minus 9 will give us negative 12 equal to negative 6 root of y. Squaring both sides at this moment to get rid of the radical sign, then we'll be having negative 12 squared gives us a value of 144, and that should be equal to the square affecting the negative 6 will give us 36. Square root of y all squared will give us actually y. So in order to get the value of y, we divide both sides by 36. Therefore, 
our y value will be 144 divided by 36 and that leaves an answer of 4. So therefore, the value of y is equal to 4, which is possible answer B. Moving on to the next example, we have a similar question, which is square root of t plus 3 plus square root of t plus 10. And this must be equal to 7. We should find the value of t. So the strategy in solving for the value of t, even though we can square both sides, but it will lead us to complicated sets. Therefore, it's advisable that you square both sides when you have one of the radical signs on its own or one of the sets on its own at one side of the equal to sign. So let's transpose one of the sets to join the 7 so that we may have square root of t plus 10 equal to 7 minus square root of t plus 3. Then at this moment, we can say that let's square both sides of the equation. That will be leading us to square root of t plus 10. All squared gives an answer of t plus 10. And this is equal to now expanding 7 minus root of t plus 3. We'll have it as 7 multiplying itself 7 minus root of t plus 3. Then we have minus root of t plus 3, also multiplying 7 minus root of t plus 3. Then expanding the right-hand side, we end up getting 49 minus 7 root of t plus 3. Minus root of t plus 3 multiplying 7 will also give us minus 7 root of t plus 3 and then plus root of t plus 3 multiplying itself will be left with um, t plus 3. So when we simplify the left hand side is giving us t plus 10. When we simplify the right hand side we have 49 and then 3 being like 10. So 49 plus 3 gives us an answer of 52 and then we have plus rt and then negative 7 root t plus 3 minus 7 root t plus 3 will give us negative 14 root of t plus 3. And this must be equal to t plus 10. So transposing the terms on the left-hand side to the right-hand side so that we can have a negative 14 root of t plus 3 to be a positive number on its own. Then we can transpose that and that will be given as 14 root of t plus 3 and this must be equal to 52 minus 10 then plus t minus t. So we are left with 14 root of t plus 3 on the left hand side equal to 52 minus 10 gives us 42 t minus t is 0. So at this moment, we can square both sides or we can choose to even divide through by 14. Any of them, you end up getting the same solution. So if we square both sides, 14 squared gives us an answer of 196. So we have 196 root t all squared root t plus 3 all squared gives us t plus 3. And this must be equal to 42 squared leaves us an answer of 1,664. 1,600, sorry, 764. 1,000. 1764. So continuing from this side, we can multiply through by 196 on the left hand side, and that will give us 196t. And 196 
by 3 leaves an answer of 588 so we have plus 588 and this must be equal to 1764 then 196 t can be maintained and then we will transpose the 588 giving us 1764 minus 588 and that when we subtract 1764 minus 588, we get an answer of 1176. And this is equal to 196t. Then we divide through by 196 for both sides. And dividing through by 196, we have an answer of t equal to 6 which is possible answer a if you are not sure whether your answer is right you can just substitute the value of t into the equation and then you can testify that the solution for t is actually 6 all right moving on to the next example we have given that 3 plus 4 root 5 or multiplying 2 minus x root 5 equal to 2 root 5 minus 34. We should find the value of x in the equation. So there's a need for you to expand. So our question is 3 plus 4 root of 5 multiplying 2 minus x root of 5. This should give us an answer of 2 root 5 minus 34. So considering the left hand side, we have two ways of doing it. So you can either choose to expand the left hand side. When you are done with it, you simplify it and then compare it to the right hand side statements there. And therefore, through your comparison, you can get a solution for X or you can choose to solve it all together. So expanding, we have 3 multiplying 2 minus X root of 5. Then we also have plus 4 root of 5 multiplying 2 minus x root of 5. And this must be equal to 2 root 5 minus 34. With still expansion, we have 6 minus 3x root 5 plus 4 root 5 times 2 will give us 8 root 5 minus 4 root 5 times x root 5 root 5 root 5 multiplies to give us an answer of 5 4 times x negative x will give us negative 4x so negative 4x times 5 gives us negative 20x and this is equal to 2 root of 5 minus 34 so rearranging to obtain the expression on the left hand side as compared to that of the right hand side then we are going to have the root fives which is the series coming before the constant and therefore we are going to have 8 root of 5 minus 3x root of 5 and that will be left with plus 6 minus 20 x and this must be equal to 2 root 5 minus 34 so this tells you that you can equally have 8 minus 3x in one bracket or root 5 plus 6 minus 20x equal to 2 root of 5 minus 34 so the true constant which is the negative 34 on the right hand side will be compared to 6 minus 20 x and you can use that to get the value of x or you can use the coefficient of root 5 here to that of the coefficient of root 5 on the right hand side and you still end up getting the same value so let's check for both and let's see what um, the solution will rightly be so doing it on the other side so i have 
either 8 minus 3x to be equal to 2 or I may have 6 minus 20x to be equal to the value negative 34. Solving for x from this side, we may have negative 3x to be equal to 2 minus 8. And that is negative 3x is equal to the value 6, negative. Dividing through by negative 3, x will be equal to 2. Or with this, we have negative 20x should be equal to negative 34 minus 6. So negative 20x should be equal to negative 34 minus 6 gives us an answer of negative 40. So dividing through by negative 40, x will also give us an answer of 2. So either ways, you are getting the same solution. So the value of x that satisfies this equation is possible answer D. Now to our last and final question, which says find y in the expression given. We having square root of 24 plus square root of 96 minus square root of 600 equal to y root 6. Then we need to simplify each of the sets given square root of 24. When you simplify that, it gives you an answer of 2 root 6. And then square root of 96, when you simplify, it also gives you an answer of 4 root 6. Then minus square root of 600 will give us an answer of 10 root of 6. And this must be compared to y root of 6. Simplify, you realize that they are liked sets. Therefore, we can add and subtract. So 2 plus 4 actually gives an answer of 6 root 6. And then minus 10 root 6. So we have 2 plus 4 minus 10. That will give us an answer of negative 4 root of 6. And this must be compared to y root of 6. So comparing the coefficients, then it means that y will be equal to negative 4, which is possible answer D. Thanks so much, viewers, for joining the lesson today. I'm privileged to teach you or take you through some revision on some of these topics. As you know, Math Made Easy with PDY is a channel created to support the learning of mathematics and also to make mathematics studies very easy. Kindly subscribe to my channel. And then if you've not watched any of my videos, you can actually go back go through the playlist and then you see the lot of videos that have been made. Like the videos, all comments are welcome. And then whatever your challenge is, you can put it at the comment section. I'll see how best I'll resolve it. Thank you so much and have a nice day. God bless you.